What's up guys? Welcome to Sockers Tech Spot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean a computer. So first off, we're going to take off all the panels off the sides of the computer. Uh, in my case, I have one on either side and a top and front panel. So I'm going to go ahead and take all those off. And look at this nasty fan right here. Look at all that dust accumulated. I haven't cleaned my computer for a long while uh, before cleaning it just now, about six months or so. You don't want to wait that long. You want to do this fairly regularly. I would say maybe once every other month at minimum. But uh, I waited a little too long for this one, and there's a ton of dust. So uh, to take off my front panel, I had to get my drives out, because that's just the way it works. And uh, there you go, drives out. And here's a close-up of all the nasty dust that's accumulated. And that dust hinders your performance by gathering in the heat sinks, causing poor airflow, overheating your processor, video card, etc. It can also shorten the lifespan of your fans. Dust that sits for a long time can interfere with your electrical connections and increase the rate of corrosion. And look at that nasty fan right there. And while I'm here, I'm going to do some cable management too. So I'm going to start by taking off the front fans just to get a nice thorough cleaning. And those are the intake fans, so I want to make sure it's uh, extra thorough. And also you want to check out these screws. These screws are really nasty. Look how dusty those screws were. And you might as well do some cable management too while you're here because uh, it does help when there's nothing blocking the airflow from moving through the computer, going over the components and carrying the hot air out. If you have wires and stuff blocking, the hot air isn't going to escape as easily. So it does help a little bit. Although if you don't care, you can just leave it the way it is. See how messy that is? I'm going to use some Velcro. I'm going to use some zip ties and uh, I'm going to use some scissors to cut the velcro to size. So uh, you don't have to be this thorough, but you could just you know, jam the wires behind the side of the computer and be done with it. Uh, I'm taking my time and making sure everything's neat just because uh, that's how I like to do it. It's my baby. Over here I'm actually moving the drives around just because some of the wires weren't reaching the way I wanted to and uh, I couldn't hide them as easily. So that's the only reason I'm moving them. You probably don't have to do anything like this. But uh, here I am, putting the drives in their place, wiring it back up. Uh, this was actually pretty fun. I haven't really paid too much attention to this computer, so it was nice having to uh, rewire it a little bit. Oh, and it's go time. So I got this off Amazon. It is basically a little leaf blower in your hand, and it just annihilates the dust. You can see it flying everywhere right now. I put it in slow motion for you guys. But it did a great job just completely blowing all the dust out of the nooks and crannies of my case. I did also go and do each fan individually. Uh, a lot of people will say that it's bad to have the fan spin on its own without it being powered on. Uh, they'll say that you could pro potentially burn out your fan motor, but honestly I've been doing this for years, never had an issue. I do hold the fan blades down when I can, but it really is not that big of a deal as long as you don't do it for too long and you don't do it too much. So there you go, it's mostly clean, got a lot of the dust out, but you can see it's settled on the fan and it's pretty stuck on the fan. So we're going in with some rummy alcohol, paper towels, and we're going to give it a nice wipe down. So here it is after it's wiped down, nice and shiny, cable management is not the best, but it's all I can do for the time being. And over here when you're putting the fans back in, you want to make sure you're getting them facing the right way, because you want the air flowing in the front, out the back, you don't want them both blowing air out. Uh, that way you get better airflow, and we're good to go. So I have to put my panel first before I put the drive, that's just the way this case is made. And I forgot that I have a card reader here that's interfering with me putting the panel on, so I unhook that, push it to the back, and then I'm just going to adjust it back in after I get the panel on. So there we go, panel's back on, putting the sides on too. Plug in the side fan, if you have one, don't forget to plug it in. And then in the back, it was a little hard because all those uh, wires uh, bulging out, but eventually got them in, and uh, closing the panel up. I'm going to use some multi-purpose cleaner over here to give it a nice shine. You could use something similar. Maybe even Windex will work for something like this. Now let's take a look at it real quick. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Looking clean. You can see right through the window. That's what we want. Good results. I didn't get all this uh, dust out because there's still some on the CPU fan. That's just too much of a hassle right now to get it out. But maybe next time we're going to hit the CPU fan too. You can see the front fans are looking clean. The case is shining. That's exactly how we want it. Not too much going on in the back, it wasn't really that dirty to begin with, just hit the fans and the power supply down there, but there you go. Let's power it on, it's always a heart attack the first time. So far we got good results. Anything on the monitors? Okay, some uh, sign of life, there we go. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh no. Alright, and the BIOS, uh, let's try to fix the boot priority here. 
hard drive. The priority. I think it's Kingston. Pretty sure it's the Kingston drive. The option one of Kingston. Save changes, reset. Oh no. Alright, it seems like uh, you should not just uh, reset after you save the changes. Uh, I did a hard shutdown and looks like we're back. Let me try to log in. Okay, so it looks like both monitors are up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. Uh, I don't know what happened right there, but it seems like a hard shutdown uh, did it. We'll just let it boot up, not bother it. But there you go. It's alive and well, it's working. Thanks for watching, guys.